Thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. In the last video, we defeated the Varun legendary ship, the Shroudbearer. In the process, we discovered the Mitar 5 had the shield bug. Oh no, we couldn't find a way to fix the shield. So in this video, I'll pull another Ecliptic Claymore 3 out of the spaceship garage, build it to match the Mitar 5. With this shiny new ship, we'll head out and find another legendary enemy to vanquish in the space lanes. So let's get started. So as I was trying to repair the other ship, I tried taking the crew off the ship, logging on again, off again. It felt like an IT crowd joke. I read quite a bit and went through the patch notes and didn't see anything that could help me. It really just looks like the bonus from my own shield engineering skill, which is three of four, was being subtracted from this, this ship shield value of 1500. On top of that, the skills from Omari Hassan, who also has three of four, was being subtracted as well. So I ended up with a really, really low number. I went back and looked at my old footage, my old saves. I know the three hour period where the bug happened, but I don't really know the exact moment it happened and I couldn't tell you why it happened. Such is life. So in the end, it was very handy that I had a spaceship garage full of extra Claymore 3s. If I had any concerns about using the ship capture method from my other video, those are 100% gone right now. If I didn't have the credits on hand, I wouldn't think twice about using those to build up another 300k in credits. So I grabbed a ship from the inventory and generally followed the same path as my Clay No More video. The only real exception was the shield and the cargo space. And since we're in the Crimson Fleet Sysdev questline right now, I thought I'd paint it, well, crimson. At this point, we'll pull the SG-3000 shield off. It has an 1190 rating. And on the Mitar 5, we had a 28T Dogstar shield, but on this one, we're gonna put an Assurance SG-1800. The SG-1800 has 1600 shield health and a slightly slower regen rate. Move the landing bay forward. I'll move through this quickly, but I'm gonna reconfigure the internal HABs to match what was on the MITAR 4. I'm gonna remove individual companion ways when appropriate, and also any bracers I don't need. Then I'll replace the front guns with six UC Vanguard particle weapons, and I'll put the four auto turrets on the back and replace the engines. That part's been covered before in previous videos, so I won't step through it piece by piece. One area where I will make a change is in the storage capacity. I'm going to remove the S201 cargo holds that have 720 capacity. I looked at the Stormax 60 cargo holds, which are inexpensive at 1999, but they have less capacity than the S201s. So I eventually settled on the S204 cargo hold, which has 1480 capacity and a mass of 312. It has the same capacity per kilogram of mass and the same cost per credit of mass but in the end, it'll give me considerably more storage capacity on this ship for a relatively small trade-off in mobility. That will support my loot goblin tendencies quite well going forward. All in, my total cost for this part of it was 236,000 credits to retrofit. Finally, we'll rename this ship. We're not gonna call it the Mitar 5. We'll call it the Cutlass 5. Before I left my base here, I did switch back over to the Mitar 5, empty out the storage container in the captain's quarters, and take all those items and put them into the new Cutlass 5. My pack's got your name on it, Cap. Nice to see you again. Need a hand? We'll do a quick comparison here at the ship inventory. The Mitar 5, after the ship bug, had shield of 900. The Cutlass 5 now has shield of 2560. That reflects a 1600 base shield and a 60% bonus from my points in shield systems. When I add the crew on, I should get an additional 20% bonus. I had to do some experimentation to determine, but if a crew member has one point in shield systems, that should give you a 10% bonus. If they have three points like Omari Hassan does, I'm seeing a 20% bonus. I don't have a crew member that only has two points in shield systems, but I assume that's a 15% bonus. Clearly they don't match up with the same level of bonus that comes from my own skill points in those areas, but they're better than nothing if the shield bug doesn't kick in. I'll also note that I am expecting a bonus in storage capacity from one of the crew members. Looks like 7496. We'll add Omari Hassan for the shield systems bonus. And Eric von Price is already on board, and he has a single point in payloads, which should give us a bonus as well, but I don't think that's reflected until we get in the ship and maybe even go into space. 
and our shield's at 2880, which is a 60% bonus from my skill in that area, and a 20% bonus from Omari Hassan. You can have multiple crew members that have skills that apply to your ship, but only the highest rated skill from a crew member gets applied. So your skills and one crew member skills are supposed to stack from what I understand. Anybody after that is ignored. So we took a quick side trip out to the Red Mile and added shielded storage and a scan blocker for another 25, 26,000 credits. And now it's time to find another legendary ship. I guess we're going to have to kill this guy first. Just minding my own business. So that was a Prophecy 3, and our shields went down to about 27. That's pretty good. Okay with that. 2880, and you can see our cargo is up to 8,801. So those are all the bonuses kicking in, I believe, across all the crew. Spacer, Scavenger, Blatodia. Well, we just can't let that guy hang around out here, can we? Not with a shiny new red ship. Three escorts, I think. Yep. Yeah, I might be obsessively checking my shields all the time. I wonder why. I'm just flying around the edges. I'm right at the edge of the range for that one scarab. Should be able to start taking him out if I want. Oh, the jackal I can hit. The Blepodia starts to turn. Jackal is gone, so one out of three down. Let's go after the scarab up here. I depleted the energy in my forward guns. We'll just follow him around. Taking a lot of hits, shields are coming down. Oh, my shields are down. I have one uh, one more escort ship to go. Spacer Coyote 3 is almost gone. And that leaves us with the Blathodia. We need to throw some ship parts at that hull. We're going to just skirt by the back of the ship and let the turrets do a little work.
And we'll just go head to head here. What is life without risk? Good night, spacer scum. What a nice explosion. And another pile of junk. That's two out of three legendary ships. I think all we need to find now is the ecliptic ship. We'll take a quick picture for recruiting purposes. That one is for the Crimson Fleet. Maybe Delgado will like it. And we'll take a nice one for the flight manual at Nova Galactic. That's a wrap for this one. No solution to the shield bug, although I did spend quite a bit of time testing it. And the ultimate result was pick up a new ship and put the other one back in the garage. Maybe at some point in time they'll get that one fixed and that MITAR 5 will be useful again. By then I'll probably be on to another new game plus, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And given the fact that I can pick up as many Claymore 3s as apparently I could ever use, I'm not going to worry about it at all. So we're going to fly back to New Atlantis, and I did notice something unusual here, which I'll point out. I don't think this is a ship bug, but it is related. My shield is now at 3040, so I, I have picked up another 10% shield value. Maybe that's from Ezekiel, so Ezekiel at 10%. Omari Hassan is at 20% and I'm at 60%, or perhaps they're giving me 30% for Omari Hassan at this point in time. Clearly there's something going wrong with the math on ship shields. It's a mystery for now. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember that perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications. This is Kinnear, and I'm out of here.